Freeze, but here comes CC troops. Poison. Did he really just miss the headhunter? Oh my gosh, he did. Oh my gosh. Headhunters killed the queen. Headhunters killed the king. Headhunters killed the champion. Literally killed three heroes because he missed all of them with that poison. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next OP matchup today. In the WCC Cup, we've got Na'Vi taking on TLK. Let's see who's going to be victorious today. TLK coming in with the first attack of the match. Little Warden Walk action on the top side of the base. Lots of Electro Titans to go along with this one. Flame Flinger for the Town Hall. Lightning Spells, Earthquake already utilized to knock out a few buildings. Sure. Sneaky Goblins do pull a couple Skelly Traps, and they're going to the Warden. He finds a lot of Teslas early. Drops the Queen, pulls the Warden, Flame Flinger to go get the Town Hall. Okay. Here we go. Ice Golem, E-Titans, Cocoa Balloons leading the charge. We're going to use the King further down south with a Wall Break to get access to the Eagle Artillery Compartment. I like it. Jump Spell already deployed. First Rage Spell in. There's the Barbarian King with the Frosty and the Witches. Nice. Flame Flinger is working on that town hall. Here comes CC Troops. Monolith starting to lock on to his E Titan. So he's going to pop the Ward ability. Keep everybody safe for now. Still has one more Rage to utilize. And there it goes in the core of the base. Champion is in to help back up the King. Headhunter was used as well. Last free spell on the Monolith. Everything has been deployed. He's just kind of hoping and praying that everything's going to work out now. King uses ability. Town Hall secured. E Titan's beating on a wall. We got to go get that enemy champion. Queen's going to go help out. Friendly champion on the bottom side looking very healthy. Witches are still alive doing cleanup. This looks like it has a decent chance. We just got to get through that scatter, that multi. Those are the major threats right now. Royal Champion's being a little slow. We're losing a lot of E Titans. Queen's going to ability. Flame Flinger troops are still alive though. They haven't even come out yet. Now we just bust open the Flame Flinger. Get those troops to start working. Down goes the Warden. Down goes the Queen. Down go most of the E Titans. Uh oh. Champion has ability. Diggy to stun the scatter though. King barely alive, walking around the outside of the base, still helping to distract most of these defenses. When do we pop the champion ability? You can honestly pop it as soon as this bomb tower is dead. Boom, there he does. One, two, three, four defenses that the Seeking Shield hits. And it's looking great. It's looking great for TLK to start this match against Na'Vi, guys. Oh, that is a silly witch beating a wall. Royal Champion doing cleanup. Lots of other troops doing cleanup. Plenty of time left over, and it's a three-star to get us started here today. Morio is in. With some Zap Quake action of his own. But instead of E-Titans, he's bringing Lalo for us here today. Cool. King on the bottom side of the base. Nice. Yeti way over on the left. Golem to help assist these, this hero dive. King, log launcher, queen on the bottom side of the base. <laughs> Alright. Golem gonna make his way in. Wall breaker on the left. Sure. Headhunter. Double damage multi is hitting the queen. Down goes the headhunter. We pop open the log launcher early or did it just straight up die? He might just straight up die. Oh my gosh, nobody's going in for the multi. Queen goes to ability so early. Morio, the Sui is not looking too hot. Queen dies through ability even. Oh. That's awkward. We still got a king ability. Excuse my yawns. It's too early in the morning, bro. Take a sip of coffee while Morio here tries to recover the Sui. <sighs> Yikes. King even going to go inside? Yeah, he should. Fight the queen. Maybe get the scatter. Sends four balloons to the multi. Can they get it? Without using his haste? Or is he just trying to pull CC troops? Oh, the multi was still kind of damaged. He gets it. Nice. Lalo from the top. Here we go. Got to get into the town hall. Town hall's not awake yet, but hopefully soon. He's got the poison spell, but he's not going to use it. Save it for legends later. Freeze the town hall. Haste through the monolith. Get ready to rage. Oh gosh, this is so messy. That freeze felt a little late. Oh, dude, he's gonna one star. Morio. One balloon and a dream. With a rage spell. 
Morio. Down goes the warden. The headhunters. The giant. Nobody can get the town hall. Oh, that's rough. Seventy-four percent. K's is in. With some queen charge hybrid with an apprentice warden. Ooh, take a look at that. Let's see how he's gonna use it. Yeti flame flicker queen on the right side of the base. I'm still yawning. LOL. Wall breaker. Okay. Sure. Or his queen might just straight up walk the wrong way. Because of that mortar. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Well, maybe that's actually a good thing. You need to freeze, you need to freeze, you need to freeze. Alright, queen ability it is. Can the apprentice warden stay alive? Where is he? I can't even see him. Yeah, well, maybe. He's getting targeted. Where's the wall break going? Interesting. Queen technically could reach the multi from there. Is she going to walk up and around over there? Yeah, okay. He's going to start the, the, the hybrid early. Here we go. Poison spells in. Flame Flinger still helping. Queen will be able to reach all those multis and the eagle. It's actually not bad. But hybrid into the town hall always feels just a little bit sketchy. Let's see if he can do it. He's got the poison lizard to help deal with the king. Rage. Free. Oh, that's a good freeze. What is Warden doing? Oh, uh, did he miss a lot of troops in the Warden ability? I think he got most of them. Queen can reach the left multi. She can reach the Builder Hut. She can reach the right multi. Flame Flinger going for the Eagle. It's actually looking decent. Just the Warden sitting in the Giga Poison now is not super ideal. Oh, I wish he would have hit the Expo with that Freeze as well. Queen's going to go down. Rip. The Healers will switch over to the Champion. That could be a good thing. Invis. That was too late, man. Champion dies in the invis because you were a little bit late with it. He still might triple though. Miners take out the queen. Healers are actually helping some of the miners. The poison lizard right now. Skeleton trap going to distract. Awkward. Awkward. What's in the flame flinger? He's got a chance. Super minions. They can finish off the rest of the base if king gets the air defense. Oh boy. This red bomb's hitting them. But King's still alive. Down goes the scatter. The Phoenix is up. There's nothing to stop him. Guys, TLK about to go two for two against Navi, who one starred. Gaku is in queen charge. Super barbarians? Ooh, all right. I'm a fan. Queen healers on the bottom side of the base. 30 super barbs in this attack. Queen on queen action right here. Queen's going to win. Of course. She's gonna walk down. She really wants that mortar first. Might lose a healer because of that. He does. Awkward. Super Barb to funnel a cannon. Doesn't quite get it. Have to use the second one. Or an E Titan. That'll work. Queen with the next rage. Log launcher gonna bust open some walls to get her all the way to the town hall, I think. Ooh, with the quake spell even. Make sure those walls open up nice and early. I'm a fan. Here comes CC troops. What in the super dragon is going on there? LOL. LOL. Not sure why he felt like he had to use an E Titan there. I guess a couple super barbs would have been more efficient, but oh well, here we go. I think the E Titan was supposed to stay alive and go with the king and the warden here on ground mode. Super barbs on the left, warden, king, ice golem, heading left. Invis spell for the queen. Do we rage her again? Yes, we do. She steps in toward the monolith. We're going to freeze it as well. Now, which way is the king going to go? We pop king ability. We send some headhunters. We're getting ready to pop warden ability. And we do queen ability for the town hall. Secure that. Get an expo out of the way. Rage target goes off. The other expo is doing double damage. Queen might be in big trouble here unless we're willing to freeze again for her. Might be best just to let her die. And he does. Healer's switching over to the Royal Champion. That actually could be good news. King of Warden is still alive. Champion going to go to ability. Can't she get through the expo? I think she just went, might. There's more super barbs on the left coming in clutch. We still got like half the super barbs to deploy. 
RC will take out this Rage Tower. She's making her way over toward the multi. We can freeze. Juicy freeze. Waits an extra second to make sure you can get the king in it as well. Sends the headhunter. Sends more super barbs from the right. Diggy's dead, but we can still freeze to keep her alive. This is looking great for Gaku. What a plan, dude. What a plan. Gaku gets it done. He doesn't even need all the super barbs either. He can swag a couple of them if he wants. Find some outside red bombs. That is a three star all day long. And Gaku impressing us as usual. Kyo with the next attack. Little zap action for the eagle. All right. Should have been able to get the multi with it, right? Am I crazy? He might have messed up these zaps. He definitely should have been able to get the multi too. Oh well. We got Lalo. We got a golem to help assist. Cool. Queen Golem from the bottom side of the base. Nice. Yeti on the left, but the Teslas might be messing up his plan. Log launcher to help assist the Queen. King walking left. Meant to go in toward the scatter shot. I don't know though, because of these Teslas. Pretty sure this multi was supposed to be dead, man. Yeah, he's gonna send a couple of balloons to fix that. Queen gonna have to go to ability early. The headhunter was so late. Sweeper spins. Balloons won't take the multi. This is just looking messy. Really messy. Oh, gosh. Then the Yeti goes to the right after taking the Inferno. Skeleton spell to distract. Champions in. Freeze. But here comes CC troops. Poison. Did he really just miss the headhunter? Oh, my gosh. He did. Oh, my gosh. Headhunters kill the queen. Headhunters kill the king. Headhunters killed the champion. Literally killed three heroes because he missed all of them with that poison. Oh, this is just rough. And now it's going for the one more is going for his warden. Oh. Town Hall's not even awake. This is so scary. This is the big defense Navi needed though. Can he wake up the town hall? Pops the warden ability. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, literally flies right past the town hall. He hastes back. He freezes. Oh, he's going to get it. Down goes the town hall, but jeez, dudes. That was sketchy. 61%. Navi needed this defense bad. If they can get another defense, another two-star defense, we're going to be all tied up. If they keep tripling, that is. We'll see. Nice try here to TLK. But this will allow them to keep the lead by stars. Phoenix gonna pop the hound. Minions can grab an extra store. Should be like a 66. I think. We'll stay for a few seconds and see. Can you get 67? One minion gets targeted. 66. Nice try, homie. Nice try. Kazuma is in. With some Queen Charge Lalo with a jumping spell. Ooh. Alright. Two Super Barbs. Battle Drill currently activated. Where's he gonna start? Queen on the right side over here? Sure. Sure, sure. Does he want Queen to walk to the right? I think he does. And then in toward the scatter shot? It's gotta be. And then we can jump all the way to the core somehow. It's going to be interesting to see his jump in placement. He can need the rage. He's going to go with the freeze first. <coughs> Barbarian King to help funnel. Coco Loon going inside as well, helping to search for traps. Hello, skeleton trap. E-Titan with the King. Okay. Okay. Queen will take the scatter shot. There's the jump spell. Kind of does give Queen access to everything. I like it. Here come the CC troops. Not any damage on the Queen while we fight CC troops. That's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy to take care of. King E-Titan can get the Eagle. Then do they bounce back out to the outside of the base? That would actually be ideal. Let's see. They do. Perfect. Pop King ability is going to wrap around toward the outside. Queen can now take care of the core. We send the battle drill to help the king in the in the E Titan. We use a super barb to help funnel, push the king inside even more. And then probably gonna see the champion used behind him. If I had to guess. 
Rage the Queen soon. Give her a nice little invis action, maybe. Yes, look at that. Perfect. Queen gets the multi. Queen gets the queen. Now she can keep getting the core. The champion is deployed late, in my opinion. But it might not be the end of the world. Now queen can go take out the monolith and just slowly make her way to the town hall. Dude, this base is going to be so crushed. It's going to be absolutely wrecked. Freeze rage for the queen. She's going to be able to clear the monolith. Clear an expo. Clear the town hall. We're going to lolo from the left. Try to get RC to path into that multi, and she'll take that one out. Oh my gosh, dude. There's going to be no base left. This is beautiful. Queen picks up the town hall. We just got to get through this inferno tower. Do we have any more freezes? Yes, we could freeze the inferno with the worn statue with the Tesla farm warden. Why are you not going with the balloons? Yikes, we pop warden ability. We don't catch a single balloon in the warden ability. That's a little rough. He just lost every single balloon. Haste and the rest of the balloons in his pocket on the bottom side, though. Invis the queen. Can she get the multi? Can she get the multi, please? Yes, thank goodness. It actually got a little close there because the warden was trying to throw. Woo! But he gets it. He gets it. Balloons take out the wizard tower. Warden takes a seeking air mine to the face. We still got a yeti and an e-titan from inside the battle drill. That's a three star. And Navi are back in this match, guys. Bobo is in with some queen charge hog riders. Okay. Queen on the right side of the base. Cool. Cool. Golem up top. A golem with a log launcher and a queen charge hog hit. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Rage on the queen. Balloons. Sneaky goblin. Quake spell. Queen will take a gold storage. Archer tower. She'll make her way inside. Whatever's inside the log launcher might just be able to clear the core. We rage the yetis. Yeti mites can get these defenses, I think. They get the eagle. Headhunter to help queen fight uh, champion. Yes, yeti mites got a ton of value there. Nice. Nice. These walls are very interesting. If queen goes back around to the middle, she can pick up the monolith and then go all the way up and just really reach the rest of the base, everything except the town hall. I like that. So I think he's going to try to take advantage of that and just have king go for the town hall. Okay. Sneaky is for the storage. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Queen takes the expo and king goes back around. We need to get rid of this archer tower before it does too much damage to the king. There, that'll work. Rage on the queen. King goes inside. He's going to have to fight the enemy king first, which is interesting. Send a headhunter to help support more hogs and a wizard for the double cannon. Queen gets through the monolith. King has phoenix. Champion's in and piggy's on the left side of the base. Here we go. Here we go. If this queen stays alive forever, I'm really liking the plan. Pops ward ability kind of early there. Diggy... And champion going for the town hall. It's interesting. Queen picks up that multi. We're going to freeze the double damage scatter. Town hall drops. RC pops ability. We're getting away from the giga poison. One more freeze on the scatter. We still have another freeze after that. We still have an invis spell after that. Queen's distracting the expo right now. It's looking pretty good for Bobo of TLK. If they get another triple here, this is going to be devastating for Navi. And he is going to get another triple, man. What a plan from Bobo. TLK. With lots and lots of great attacks today, bro. Wow, all four heroes live to tell the tale. Impressive. Man, the myth, the legend himself, Klaus knows is in. With some Queen Charge Hog Rider action. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got against Kaze's base. King on the right side. Sure. Super Barb to help funnel. He's got a eight Super Barbs as well. I like it. We've been seeing Super Barbs being used more and more lately. Ed Hunter to help King fight champion. Another Super Barb trying to do some funneling. No need to drop the healers on the Queen just yet. Now we will. King gonna go inside toward the scatter shot. There is a couple skelly traps to distract. He still might be able to pick up the scatter though. I think he does. Yeah, with the help of the Phoenix, he should. Queen gets the expo. Hello, Yeti Bomb from the top side. To snipe the Eagle and pull the CC troops out. 
Okay. Queen gonna walk down. Rage tower on defense, making that expo the multi do double damage. Ooh. Ooh, we freeze, we send a headhunter. We poison on the top side. Woo! Sure. But when these healers get frozen, oh, she's in trouble. He has to invis. Rocket balloons die. Next rage is in. She picks up the multi, then fights the other ice golem. Healers do not get frozen that time. Okay. Perfectly handled from Klaus. We just need to make sure she steps inside for the town hall. Which could be tricky. Does she step inside here? Or does she go outside? Ooh, the tornado might actually spin her into a spot where she's going to want to go inside. How can that town hall reach healers, bro? That's cracked. That's so cracked. Do we try to keep them alive with one more freeze? We got the piggies in from the top side of the base. He's going to let the healers die. Pops a warden ability early for these hog riders. They're moving through the top side. Diggy stunning the monolith. Skeleton spell to help distract the enemy queen. We let all the healers die. We got one freeze left. We got more hogs for the left side of the base. Queen goes to ability. RC still has her ability. One freeze to use. And there it is on the queen. The Tesla. The scatter shot. Two skeleton traps pop. The queen's still alive. The RC. The Diggy. The poison lizard. Get through the scatter shot. And it's looking great for Klaus. Gonna be able to get it done for Na'Vi. And now they're still in it. But they need a defense. And they need a triple from stars. Small fat hand. <laughs> nice name, bro. Is in with the final attack for TLK. If he triples here, he wins it for his team. Anything less than a triple, literally a 99% two star, and stars can actually win it for Navi. So pressure's on right now. Queen charge la low on this one. King in early for the scatter shot in one of these expos as the queen makes her way down from the nine o'clock section. King might be able to pull the CC troops here as well. And yeah, he got a partial pull. Uh oh. Uh oh. He goes down. Phoenix brings him back. He might be able to finish off that air defense. Rocket balloon heading for the unicorn. Queen will take care of that. Queen will shut that down. One sneaky goblin. Wall break into this corner. Okay. You need healers. Those healers are kind of late. It's, it means you're going to have to rage early. The rage is late. You're going to ability. What are you doing, homie? Rip the queen ability. It's already mistake number one. Queen not going toward the eagle, not going toward that multi early. Wall breaker doesn't make it all the way. That was his last wall break. No, he's got one more for the corner. Log launcher. Oh, you better hope that clipped the multi. It doesn't. That's interesting. He uses champion early as well. I don't know if I'm a big fan of this plan. Log launcher gets frozen. It might not open all the walls or will it? No, it gets targeted. That's a mistake number two. And the healers get targeted by the eagle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you're lucky it missed the last couple shots there. He's got the quake spell. Queen has access to the town hall. It's still possible, but this is going to be tough. There's a freeze. There's a rage. Remember, no queen ability to secure that town hall. He could be looking at a big fail here. Unless he's able to still keep the queen alive all the way forever. Sends the Lalo from the left. Full sin, bro. Full send. There's the invis. Queen goes for the town hall. He's got the last rage. He's got the warden ability. He's got the freeze. Queen loses all of her healers, but she picks up the town hall. He needs to get this multi. One more freeze is in. That's his last spell. Queen picks up the air defense. King going for her. No royal champion to help this Lalo. It's basically triple or nothing. Oh, I don't think he's going to get it either. That multi staying up is going to cause so many problems. The baby archer tower with the Tesla farm shredding all the balloons. It's a defense for Kazuma. And Navi have a chance to get back in this and win the match. But it comes down to stars and stars must triple for Navi to win. Can he do it today with the pressure? We're about to find out. This one's an 89 stars is in final attack of the match to save navi today he's bringing 43 freaking hog riders Whew. all right here we go zap quake as well probably gonna see it being used behind the town hall 
if I had to guess. Could also go for an Inferno Tower. Nope, he's going behind the Town Hall for the Invis Tower. Hmm. Okay, he wanted the Expo instead of the Invis Tower. It wasn't a miss, it was just... He decided what he wanted to get. Baby Dragon of Funnel. Yeti Bomb is in. Sure. Do we dare rage it? No. Almost took out the queen without the rage. Able to get all the buildings except the archer tower stays up on 1 HP. Archer at 3 o'clock. This is triple or lose situation, guys. There goes the queen at 2.30. Cool, cool, cool. Baby dragon of funnel. Barbarian king is in. Archer to help support. Nice. King to take out the enemy champion. And go in for the scatter shot. He better go in. Okay, perfect. He stays in. Here come more CC troops. We can just use the poison with the king, honestly. Should get everything. Perfect. Queen gonna go all the way for the town hall. We do have to be careful with the invis tower. But he's got a free spell. He's got two free spells. Sure. He's being very patient, taking a lot of time. I think he might have to start the hogs very, very soon. Uh, he's trying to focus on the queen, though. There's the freeze. There's the ability. Go, 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 please. Go with the hogs. Here we go. Here we go. Rest of the hogs from the top side. Queen got the town hall. Rage, warn ability, spring traps. RC, we're trying to get through the king, and we do. Rage tower on defense. Do we have a healing spell? We don't. Oh, gosh. Oh, we do. It's on the right side. Queen goes down. Lots of traps hitting the hogs. Lots of traps. Lots of traps. We got six more pigs. We got zero spell support left. We lost all the bacon on the right side. Stars! All the bacon is dead. Why not Lalo? Oh, man. 70%. Seventy percent in climbing, but he's not going to be able to secure the win for Navi today. <coughs> Very nice try, homie. Very nice try. Is he able to get eighty percent? I don't think so. Seventy-eight, and it's a win for TLK today. Thirteen to twelve. Ninety-one percent to 90.4